Hey there, it's Dave Pompas here with you again to talk about H. pylori and in this video we are going to discuss the many symptoms that H. pylori can cause and believe me, H. pylori can either directly cause or indirectly cause literally dozens of different symptoms. Now doctors typically associate H. pylori with things like heartburn and acid reflux, generally sort of the upper gastrointestinal area. But H. pylori has the ability to cause all manner of disruption pretty much anywhere in the digestive system. And in this particular video, I want to really focus and hone in on the digestive symptoms caused by H. pylori. But believe me, and we'll cover this in another video, H. pylori has the ability to contribute to symptoms pretty much anywhere and everywhere in your body. So, let's talk about the digestive system. H. pylori, as you may or may not know, has this corkscrew shape which allows it to bury into the stomach lining or the lining of the upper part of the small intestine. When it does so, it creates a whole bunch of what we call inflammation. And inflammation is a little bit like when you sprain your ankle or when you bang your fingernail with a hammer. You get a lot of redness and warmth and uh, bleeding and all kinds of pus and uh, there's a horrible thing kind of going on. You know what it's like when you trap your finger in a door, for example. Now, when that's happening in your stomach, it creates pain. So you're gonna feel that as pain or a burning sensation, kind of where your stomach is in the middle of your chest here. And you might find that that uh, sensation comes up a little bit further, up into sort of where you feel it in your throat as well. So anywhere in the stomach and the esophagus, this kind of food pipe can get inflamed as a result of H. pylori. And that's probably the most common symptom and it's the one that the doctors tend to know about most. But what other symptoms could H. pylori cause? Well, we also know that it can create a lot of belching and burping. And one of the reasons for that is that the H. pylori can actually cause a reduction in your stomach acid levels, depending on where it's living in the stomach. And we're gonna come back to that because it's very, very important in explaining why H. pylori can create a whole bunch of symptoms elsewhere further down your digestive system. We also know that H. pylori can cause bad breath. So halitosis, so if you're embarrassed about your breath and you're not sure why you have that bad breath, could be that you have an infection in your stomach. Could be H. pylori, could be something else. We know that H. pylori can create bloating. We know it can create uh, abdominal cramps and pains further down the digestive system. We know that it can contribute to loose stools and diarrhea, and we know it can contribute to constipation as well. So what I'm really telling you is that H. pylori in any given individual can create pretty much any and every digestive symptom. So I wanna go back to the low stomach acid issue. Many people with H. pylori have a reduction in stomach acid. And what happens as a result of that is you become prone to developing the overgrowth of things like bacteria and yeast organisms uh, like candida, which you may have heard of. When those bugs get a foothold in your small intestine, whenever you eat food and the acid doesn't digest the food properly, you get fermentation in the small intestine. So you get undigested food dumping into the small intestine, the bacteria or the yeast and fungi have a field day, they have a party, whatever you don't digest becomes food for them, and they ferment the food, particularly carbohydrates. When they ferment the food, off bubbles a whole bunch of gas. So the gas bubbles off, and all of a sudden your tummy comes out like you are nine months pregnant, right? It's a familiar feeling for a lot of people. Now, that action of the bacteria and the uh, yeast and fungal organisms as they overgrow can also upset the digestive system and lead to many of the symptoms that doctors call irritable bowel syndrome. Personally, I don't believe irritable bowel syndrome exists. I tend to call it intestinal bullshit because they label you with a whole bunch of symptoms and say, oh, there's nothing we can do about that. You're just gonna go have, you have to go home and live with it. But IBS is typically caused by food you're eating, but also this kind of colony of bad bugs that tends to overgrow in the system. And many of those bugs can be triggered by having H. pylori and low stomach acid. So diarrhea, constipation, a lot of bloating and gas, particularly, you know, farting and 
uh, and what have you, rushing to the toilet, or maybe not going to the toilet for four or five days, can all actually be the result of just having this simple infection in your stomach and the domino effect that it causes all the way down the system from there. Now, in more serious cases of H. pylori, you may develop stomach ulcers or duodenal ulcers, which are ulcers of the upper small intestine. They are a little bit more nasty. For some people, they can be very, very dangerous. And if you have symptoms such as vomiting with the blood or coffee granules, uh, coffee-like granules in the vomit, or if you see that you've got dark, tarry stools, or a very rapid loss of weight, uh, really kind of nasty symptoms like that, you want to go and see your doctor because you might have an ulcer and you want to get that seen to as quickly as possible. In some individuals still, you may actually end up with stomach cancer. We're going to talk about the more serious and sinister issues associated with H. pylori in a separate video because it needs a little bit more time. And finally, the digestive system is linked to every system, organ and tissue in your body. So anything that disrupts your digestion can end up creating symptoms in other areas of your body. And again, I want to address that in a separate video because there's just too much to cover in one go. So I hope this uh, short video has been helpful. I hope you really understand now how and why H. pylori can create all manner of problems in your gut. And I'm looking forward to talking to you again next time. Thank you.